Do you like sea perches? What about paper clips? I thought you would. Well, imagine a world where you have a sea perch in a swimming pool, and there's lots of paper clips at the bottom, and you have an instrument that can get all the paper clips you've ever wanted. Well, I have just the video for you, pal. I've developed an instrument that picks up paper clips, swings them around, and wait for it. By the click of a button, you retrieved a paper clip. My instrument consists of an electromagnet attached to three gears, and it is all powered by an electric waterproofed motor. So how does this electromagnet work? We have a bolt, and a wire is tightly wrapped around the bolt, and when electricity is passed through this wire, the electricity will go around and around the wire so many times that a magnetic force is created, attracting small metal objects such as this paper clip. And when the magnetic force is deactivated by turning off the battery, the paper clip just falls. Magically. So what about this electric motor, huh? Well, here it is. And inside this electric motor, there are two electromagnets. And when electricity passes through these electromagnets, they create their separate magnetic forces. And these magnetic forces are opposite of each other. And this causes the metal axle to spin around. Gears. What's so special about gears? Why did I use gears? Well, I'll tell you. It's the gear ratio, and the gear ratio is the number of teeth of the following gear over the number of teeth of the driver gear. And this is very special because it changes the speed and the power of the gears. For example, let's take a look at our instrument. The gear right here can spin very slow, while this gear spins very fast. That is because of the gear ratio. And the gear ratios are big to small, making it spin a lot faster, but it's a lot less powerful. Now I'll show you how I built it. We built this city. We built Here's a list of materials and tools that can be used from our sea perch kits. The materials include electrical tape, PVC pipe, toilet bowl wax, battery. The tools include wire strippers, super glue, a drill, soldering iron, and solder. These are the materials that aren't included in the sea perch kits. The materials include one bolt, a small DC motor, gears, and an off switch a DPDT switch, electrical wire, nails, duct tape, film canister. And the total of these materials adds up to 1090. This is the schematic of the instrument, and as you can see, it includes the two switches, the battery, the magnet, the motor, and the gears. It also includes the appropriate wiring from the battery to each of the switches, and also from the magnet and the motor to their own appropriate switches. So first thing you need to do is make your electromagnet. So you get your bolt and you wrap it around with wire like I have done right here. And once you think you're done wrapping it around, you can secure both ends. And one method is just to take both ends and twist the bolt like so. And you get secure ends. You can test your electromagnet by hooking it up to a battery. And you can do this by putting one end of each wire on each end of a battery. I'm using this shirt because it tends to get very hot as you do this. And so once you connect the circuit, your magnet should be able to pick up a paper clip. The next step is to waterproof your DC motor. To waterproof your DC motor, it's going to be the same process that you used in the sea perch. You'll need to cover it with electrical tape and solder the wires. Then cover it with toilet bowl wax and place it in the plastic capsule. Next we'll have to solder the switches. As you can see we mimicked the schematic that was shown earlier. There are wires connecting each corner on the DPDT switch. And then the motor wires are connected at the end right here. And the power wires are connected right here. On the on and off switch, the power wires are connected right here. And the magnet wires are connected right here. Next, you'll have to set your magnet and your gears in your PVC pipe. This is probably the trickiest part of building it. You have to make sure that each gear is the exact amount of space 
apart so that they function correctly and smoothly without catching on each other. And you need to do that by drilling holes for the nails and then putting the gear on the nail and hammering the nails into the PVC pipe. And you can use duct tape to higher or lower the gears the appropriate amount of space so that they run smoothly. And then once you get that all together, you need to attach your magnet to the gears. And as you can see how I did it here, I placed a gear above the magnet and sandwiched them between these two. And then I reinforced it with wire and duct tape and super glue. And now it functions pretty snazzily. Snazzy magazzle magook. For convenience, you might want a controller for your C perch instrument. So to do this, you need to find a way to connect your battery to your switches here. So what I did, I used paper clips to connect my power cords, and then you can either duct tape or find some other way to connect these to your battery. And once you have done that, you need to put it inside your control box or controller. And mine was of cardboard, and I don't recommend it. It's very flimsy and not very easy to use. So use some plastic, use a Tupperware, anything that's sturdier than this. But if your instrument is set up right, you should have these two switches like this, and your magnet can be turned on and off with the on-off switch, and your motor should spin one way or the other with your DPDT switch. And the center should be off, go up for one direction, and down for the other direction. And if this doesn't work, you should check your soldering or check your alignment of your motor on your setup. And if those are correct, then good luck, because those are the main problems that I had. So we finished our instrument, and there's nothing left to do but just play with it. So, uh, it's playtime! Well, have fun collecting your paper clips. Who knows? Maybe someday you'll find a gold mine. Like I did. <laughs> this is to Dr. Truscott. Please give me a day of my project. If you don't, then I will not do any research stuff with you ever. Yeah, ever.